So, I watched Gerald Undone's latest video on the A7S III. And in, the, in there, he had a section about what SD cards to get for the A7S III. So, I immediately ran to the shop and got this card. And you will see that this card is a V90 card. And according to his video, this card will work. It's V90. You should be able to shoot most of the, most of the mode modes except the 4K 120 All I. That's the only one it shouldn't shoot. You'll see that this is a, a V90 card. And the V90 basically means that this card can do 90 megabytes per second. 90 megabytes per second, if you convert it to megabits, it times about 8, you get to 720 megabits per second. Sustained write speed. So it is actually quite fast. And I even got lower bit rates like the 200 meg bit rate it didn't want to do. So even though this card could do 720 sustained write, the camera didn't allow me to do a 200 sustained write. Let me show you. Sorry for the low quality, but this is recorded on my phone. And you can see I'll take this card, put it in the A7S III, switch it on, and you'll see in normal at the moment on top, you will see there I'm on 4K 20 20p 30 megabits per second, and if I hit record. It works it records so the card is working fine but as soon as I go to any setting um, any setting anywhere that requires me I can even go to a hundred megabits per second and if I hit record it records so it's now recording at 100 megabits per second that's fine now let's up the the speed to um, let's switch to 120p so now you'll see the slowest one we could take is a 200 meg setting and now it gives me this error to perform shooting with a setting, use a memory card higher than a V60. So obviously we have a V90. So it took me a while to figure out why, because now if I hit record, I get this error. Um, yeah, I think it's looking for an additional card that might be compatible in the other slot. Um, so yeah, that's the error I get. So it took me a while to figure out exactly what the problem was. And... Uh, after some extensive searching and nitpicking, <laughs> I found out that the issue was underneath the um, label there, you'll see there's a HC. That needs to be XC. That's the reason. If it's not an XC card, if it's an HC card, regardless of how fast the card is, it doesn't work. So yeah, I wasted a lot of money. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this card. Um, it will most likely just go into a pile of my additional SD cards as a backup card. And I'm going, to, I'm going to have to go back to the shop and get another one. So I hope I've saved you some money and some effort uh, to buy the right stuff. Apparently, if it's a 64 gig card, most 64 gig cards are XC cards and not HC cards. So if I would have bought a 64 gig card and not a 32 gig for card it might have worked so yeah i hope i've saved you some trouble if you've liked this video then remember to press the button and if you want to see more then remember to subscribe until next time ciao